And a hometown hero in Waco is being honored for his bravery during the attack. A nine foot tall bronze statue of Doris Miller was unveiled on the banks of the Brazos River this afternoon. Channel 6 News reporter Jasmine Caldwell was there as people worldwide came to honor him. Doris Miller was noted for his bravery during the attack on Pearl Harbor. His family still lives right here in Waco, and tonight they say they are proud to see this statue be unveiled. On this day, 76 years ago, Doris Miller saved lives aboard a ship called the West Virginia. He was the first African American to be awarded the Navy Cross. His family says for him to be honored gives them goosebumps. This is a long time waiting. Even though it's been a loss of recognition over the, over the states, but to have it in his hometown uh, is just awesome. The Waco Cultural Arts Fest raised more than $1 million for this project. Eddie Dixon is a sculptor from Lubbock. He built this statue and says it made him proud. Yeah, this was very special to me. Unfortunately, I didn't meet him, but I met a lot of his history. I spoke to some of his relatives. Navy veterans who spent years aboard the Navy ship USS Miller, which was named after Doris Miller, say this statue is like meeting the man himself. We served aboard uh, the namesake, and uh, we're all very proud of this uh, fine, fine, fine man. This statue is the future centerpiece of the Doris Miller Memorial. That memorial is expected to be completed during the Memorial Day weekend. Reporting in Waco, Jasmine Caldwell, Channel 6 News. All right, thanks, Jasmine.